but you certainly can't miss a DeWalt chainsaw when it's in the picture. <laughs> Absolutely stand out. And what they do is stand out in the cordless cutting game as well. This is a new 18 inch or 45 centimeter, 20 inch, 50 centimeter. I've been running both of these on a 6, 9 and a 15 amp. 15 amp is going to give you a thumping big fuel tank, um, but they do run really well on all three batteries. Going to throw to a bit of footage in a second, then we're going to do a bit of turntable action, show you a couple of the features of it. Um, get ready for this. The 18 inch is the DCMC S574 and the 20 inch is the 575. So both of these saws punched really well. This is two year old seasoned uh, Australian hardwood that we cut down, been sitting there drying for a while. Uh, at no point did I think, geez, they're really not coping with this. Absolutely fantastic. Um, chain tensioning, you've got a tool there couple of nuts off the side um, to clean it out if you hit the saw grass or loosen them up give it a tighten so this tool here just lives straight in the bum of the handle pull that out take a couple of nuts off there that's your little tensioning screw pop that off if you've got rubbish in here i had a heap of saw grass because i accidentally caught it that didn't like it so nip it off bang you're away to go pop that straight back on tension I've just done this little bit of footage here. I know that it can do tread upon easy, but why landscapers aren't using these more, I do not understand. So far to cut these things, drop them in the H beams. Now both of these units, DeWalt's got a rating of 40cc petrol equivalent and 50cc petrol equivalent. Um, they're both really cracking saws. The main difference I noticed between running the two, this has some deep down torque that this one doesn't happen have. Funnily enough, this actually has the same chain speed. Both of them achieve 13 and a half meters per second of cutting. So this one has just got that extra torque. You can really lean on it a bit more than what you can this one. But this for your basic camper, no dramas, this one's gonna be a bit outrageous when you take it out camping. Uh, for landscapers, absolutely perfect. For dropping sleepers, when you're running H-frame um, sleeper walls, that sort of thing, retaining walls. And for your, for a small site, this is brilliant. I work on a 26-acre campsite, and this thing will do everything that I need to do with my petrols. So to quickly wrap it up, I am dead set in love with this big banger. And this I still would take all day, every day. Get in your local store. Ask for a bit of a demo. I'll find out when DeWalt's next doing a demo and see if you can drain one of these batteries dead flat and just keep fanging away because I reckon you're going to be very impressed.